Hello! For this video, I'm going to show you how to make a friendship knot embellishment. Isn't that pretty? Alrighty, and you can do this with ribbon. You can do this with, <clears throat> excuse me, um, paper strips. So, and I'm using paper strips. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to put it together and then we'll figure out sizes. So let's see, because it doesn't really matter what, what depends on what size you want to make it. It's totally up to you. Um, there you go. I figured I'd, I'd show you making this bigger one because that'll be a lot easier for you to see what I'm doing. Okay. These ones here are um, five inches by half an inch. Okay, half an inch by five, and I've got four. Okay, so what you need to do first is, I like to fishtail the ends, which I've done on that one also. So you fishtail both ends on all four of them. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it in half, and you're gonna wrap it over a pencil. Okay, because you want it to be even on the end here, on the tips, because you're gonna connect them together but you do want a nice round, a rounded top, okay? So see how that's rounded over? So I'm gonna do that to all four of these and kind of pinch it up against the, where the pencil is. Fold this in half and pinch it. have a pitch it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to lay down the colors opposite each other. So blue and blue, green and green. Okay, all righty. So it's a little bit tough. <laughs> you have to remember how to do this. So and if you look at this example, which I'll give you a screenshot in just a moment, okay, we'll give you a screenshot with the big one. So you're going to want to take this one here, Okay, so, and we're gonna take this one here and we're gonna go through, we're gonna put it together like this, okay? And then we're gonna take this one and this has gotta go opposite of this one, okay? So you just take one and you put one going this way on the inside, one going this way on the outside. So now this one's gonna go on the outside of this one and inside here. So you're gonna put, slide it this way and then put them both in there, okay? So now it's together. Isn't that nifty looking? Okay, so let me do that again. So you're gonna take one color, you're gonna go inside one on, on this side, okay? Then you're gonna take this color again and you're gonna go inside this one, okay? And that's why I wanted you to wrap it around the pencil because that's actually holding it in place for you, okay? That makes it so much easier to do this. Alrighty, and then, do you remember what we're gonna do now? <laughs> that one's on, okay. So now we're gonna come over to this side and we're gonna turn it around because we need to put this group green one going this way, okay, the opposite way. So we went over and inside and then put it together, okay? There we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, it's up to you how you wanna do it. I think it's a little bit easier if you take it apart again you have to you have to learn how to put it together first okay because then I like to put foam tape underneath in the bumps in each of the folds so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this while it's still together first so that these don't move I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna glue them together so I'm gonna go from about here down okay so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna put a strip of a strip of glue in there so see how I've glued it? A strip of glue, okay? And then I'm gonna squeeze it together because we don't want that to come apart. Okay, 
we're going to come in here and do the same thing lift this one up put in a line of glue and pinch it together make sure it lines up okay press that together then we're going to take this next one we're going to pull that through we're going to go ahead and we're going to put open this up we're going to put a line of glue from here to there and then we still have one more and as we're doing this this is actually tightening this section up okay so now we have this one so now we want to lift this up and put a line of glue from here to there okay all right there now we've got it tightened up we've got it all glued down so now to keep this together so it's not falling apart this is where we need to sneak in the foam okay so what i like to do is take a piece of foam and i'm going to cut this in half because you just need a little piece okay we're going to take this we're going to take the lid the top off of it and we're going to sneak this inside here okay so we want to hold this down and sneak this in press it down on the bottom one and then just leave it there for now you don't need to press it up to the top just yet so really put take the release off of this hold this down sneak this one in there up on top okay inside there press it down on the bottom leave it there for now we're gonna go ahead and do it again we need another little piece I'm gonna cut this piece in half we're gonna take this slide this one in here and put it on the bottom okay and then one more piece take the release off turn it around slide that in and press it on the bottom all right so now when you lift it up then you can see they're all stuck to the bottom okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to pull it tight on those two pull it tight on those two make sure see i, I pulled it too tight now so you can kind of see that one i don't want to see it hanging out all right so now i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to pinch them down gently just enough so they're attached because you don't want to flatten it there you go so now it's all put together and that's how you make a friendship knot okay so this is a big version this is a small version isn't that fun so now let's do a small version. The big version you can use on the front center of a card. So say you wanted to put it on this card, then you could put it on here and use that as a nice large embellishment on your card. So you can make them large or you can make them smaller. If you use a smaller one, look how small it is. I love this size. It's just so cute. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Throw my hanger over here. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to do the same exact thing, but we're going to do it with two smaller pieces, okay? So I need two pieces, and these are five inches long, okay? And they're a quarter of an inch, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to fold these in half and then fishtail to get two out of each one. So we're gonna fishtail on this side, and then we're gonna fishtail on this side, which will cut this in half. There you go, so we've got two pieces. And again, so five inches for this, five inches for this. But for the big one, you need four pieces that are five inches. For the smaller one, you need just two pieces. Okay, so we're gonna fold that over. We're going to go ahead and punch that. Turn it around, punch and separate the two pieces. Alrighty, and there we go. So same thing, we're gonna do the same exact thing. So let me put this stuff away. Whoops, I might need that. Nope, I don't need that one. Okay. Oh, I will need that. Okay, so we're gonna take the pencil, wrap it over, connect the two ends, and actually, now that you've seen how to do this, when we pinch it like this, we can go ahead and pinch it. We can go ahead and glue it when you wrap it over. 
So go ahead and glue it down on the end like that. There you go. Pinch it together and then pull it out. Let that one sit. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same with this one. We're gonna fold it over, match it up, pinch it against the pencil, open it up, put a little glue in. Okay, hold that together for a moment and then slide it off. And then we're gonna do the same thing again, fold it over, Pinch together, open it up, put a little glue in there, pinch it together. Okay, and one more time. Make sure you check them. Make sure that they're lined up nice. Okay, and again, fold it over, pinch it together, pinch it against the pencil, open it up. Glue that. Ta da! All right, now we have the four pieces, and remember, you have to have the same colors the opposite direction. So these go this way, these ones go this way, okay? And if you do it that way, you line them up, then you'll see exactly where they're going to be put. So you know, this one's going to go in there. This one's gonna go in here, this one's gonna go in here, and this, this flag is gonna go in here, okay? So that makes it even easier for you. Then you can just push it all in together. How simple is that? Isn't that adorable? All right, now, before we, before we glue it though, before we glue it all together, we wanna to kind of put it in there together like so, and we wanna kind of sneak that little piece of foam in there. So let's go ahead and cut another piece. With this, you really need just a very small piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half and then cut this in half. And cut that one in half that's all we need. Alrighty. Okay, so take the release paper off. Slide it in there. <laughs> With this one, it might be easier to go ahead and flatten it down just a little bit so you can see exactly where it's going to go. Hang on. There because now you've got to squeeze it in there. So pull this one kind of tight and I'm gonna squeeze it in here. So this piece needs to go in here. Okay, come on, fluff back up just enough. Pull that down and sneak that in there, okay. And that's in there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and press that down because I'm Hold that up tight just to this one. I pulled it this way, okay? So now we're gonna do this one. So now we're gonna go ahead and pull this one tight and using my finger, push it up on the bottom so you can see the hole in here. Okay, make sure it's pushed, it's butted up against this other green one and you can see the little hole. You can take this piece, take the release off Position, get this in position for yourself. Sneak it on in there. Press it down. Okay. Turn it around. Get another one. Take the release paper off. There we go. All right. Use your finger. Press that up so that you, you can see that loop. Make sure this green one is pulled through. Slide this in there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, last but not least, the last one. So now we're gonna 
pull on this one to make sure it's pulled tight against this green one here. Okay, press that up so you can see underneath here. And this one we need to adjust a little bit so we can see because we've been squishing the heck out of this thing. Alrighty, now let's do that again. Press this down and sneak this in there. There we go. Ta-da! All right, so now kind of play around with it, make sure it's right, and then go ahead and press it a little bit. Okay, there you go. So we can pull it back up here. I can show you that one again. All right. This is the big one that we made. Aren't they pretty? And this one, I put little tiny hearts on. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> Fingernail hearts. All right. So you can decorate them however you want to decorate them. For me, I don't want to cover this up because this shows that this is the friendship knot right here. So you want them to be able to see that part of it. So that's why I thought, well, if I just put a little, a little bling on the, the end of each, each little flag there, then that'll be perfect. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that to this one. So you can watch how I'm doing that. That is as simple as just a dab of glue right here, right there, right there, and right there. Ta-da! Real simple. I think this one's a little bit much though, so I'm going to take some of that glue off of there. Use a pencil. There, that's better. Okay. Don't need that much. Okay, use my little picker upper and pick that little teeny heart up. Make sure I've got the two bumps towards me. There. Put that down and turn it around. Okay. And pick that up. Make sure I put the two bumps towards me. It depends on which way you want the heart to show. I'm making it so that the, the two bumps are out towards the, the flag here, the fishtail cut. You could turn around it if you want to, but I don't know why, I just like it like this. All right, the same thing, the two bumps are on the outside here, and I just heard my sweetie come in from work, so that's perfect timing. And I already have some, we're having beans, bean and rice tortillas tonight. So, whenever we have a ham, then we, I like to cook up a pot of beans and then I just put them in containers in the freezer. So then we can just pull out a container at a time and it just takes 11 minutes in the microwave to cook that rice. So that's quick and easy. Alrighty, we can put this away. And you can't go wrong with beans and rice. I love beans and rice. Alrighty, so this one's got the little gems on it too. Isn't that pretty? This one I haven't decided what kind of I want to put on there. That might be cute to put even maybe a little butterfly or something or a flower. We could do flowers. That would be pretty. Let's see what that would look like. We might. Those are the dots. Yeah, this would be too big. Yeah, that would take away. So you got to be careful. I'll show you this though. But you, you have to be careful what you're putting on there because I mean, it would look kind of pretty. I guess. I guess you could. Actually, that's not bad. Because <laughs> you can still see the friendship knot in the middle. So, and actually, if we did it this way, then you could see the little tail, too. That's actually kind of pretty, isn't it? Uh-huh. This one, that's a two-sided one. That way and that way. Let's go ahead and do that. I, I was, I was going to say no. Don't, don't, I wasn't going to do that because I thought that would be too big, but I think that's kind of pretty. Let's put it on. Why not? All right, so we'll put this on here and do my old trick of wiggling it around a little bit until it adheres itself, which it is adhered. And then do the same thing. Put it on this one, wiggle it around until it's adhered, which it is. Put it on this one. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle until it stops. Okay. And put it on this 
this one. And wiggle, wiggle, wiggle until it stops. See, once, once it stops wiggling, then and it adheres itself, then the whole thing twists. That's kind of pretty. I like that. That's funny. I was not going to do that. All right. And then we have, do I want to put these in the middle? Nope. I want actual bling bling. That would be pretty. So let's find blue and green bling. We can do that. Or just silver. You know what? Let's just do the silver. That would be pretty. Yeah. All right. We'll do that. So we'll put one of these pretty iridescent blings right in the middle of each one. That's pretty. Awesome. I'm glad I tried this. Just for the sake of showing the size. And then I end up liking it. I like it. Okay, so let's put this away. Let's put this back away. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? I really like that. That's nice. So we've got three embellishments, and they came out so pretty. What do you think of that? I like them. Let me put them on the white paper. Let me turn this over so that way you can see it better. Put this away. All right. Oh, much better. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. That's much better there. Now you can see it. Aren't they pretty? Alrighty, so I hope you like this idea of making the, the friendship knots. And I think this will be fun. You can definitely put these on in your journals and your uh, scrapbooks and on cards. I plan on putting mine on cards. So, alrighty, so I hope you like this idea. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.